No mind the videos on yay Anyways here I am Yeah yes I'm gonna get some water There's people that don't have clean water and we need to support Social Alchemy Project Access Management because I know someone that can help us bring clean water to remote places in Tibet, in hills and villages, and be part of our global human family, right? It's only courteous. So I'm going to get some water, and maybe you can get some water. But while we get our water, or maybe you're just going to wait for me to come back to this chair, Let's just be in silence because we're lucky to have water. We're really lucky. Very lucky. Be right back. Oh, it is so cold. Here's the heater. I want to show you the heater that I use. Put it down. <laughs> My gosh, put it down. Okay, so I think I have some notes over here. One moment, please. So I want everybody, because we're going through such a hard time, to be okay when times are tough, not to have resistance, okay? Because this is what happens, right? Fight or flight, paralyzing. We have to have the open hands. What we do is that when times are tough, we open ourselves and we acknowledge if we feel like a loser. It's okay. Now, people reject people if they feel like losers. And the whole work is losers led to good. Okay, we can make improvements if we're losers. But we want people to be honest and we don't want people to be addicted or to get off on cruelty to people for not being perfect. We want to have losers. That's okay. Because you're really not a loser. You really are if you need to go there and say it because it's very cathartic. But when forward, you learn that... you have depth due to not knowing what the hell you're going to do next. Loser or no loser, right? Gay or straight, right? We're here to discern truth and to understand that we all have been what? Programmed. Ugh. We've all been very programmed to think that we have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Now, of course, you know, you have to be decent and clean up and interview well and have pertinent goals to help bring society forward. But you can't bring society forward if you haven't hit rock bottom. It's true. 
you can bring society forward if you haven't hit rock bottom, but you may have a difficult time ascertaining a certain level of sympathy Your next step when you turn off this video is to know that you belong and everybody belongs right here, right now on this planet. Okay? We don't need to be thinking about killing people and hurting people, right? We don't need even suicidal or homicidal ideation happening, correct? No, 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 no. It's not going to work. No criminality, people. People rip people off of love. And I tell you, if you have anything that is criminologically explained about your mindfuck and you just don't trust yourself, go to the police station and ask for counseling. They're not going to go arrest you. I know, like, people don't give people that advice. But if you stop and think about the loneliness and the loser saga that continues in our minds, there are people preparing new ways of thought in culture and social psychology, okay? And it may not only be the Clinton Foundation. Your future is going to be okay. Because God has the whole world in his hands. And the scripture says that nothing can separate you from the love of God. So, if you're not on, if you're not perfect, and you feel like a loser, okay? You feel defeated, you feel irrelevant, you feel invisible, you feel paralyzed, marginalized. There are people in communities across the world that understand the spirit of democracy promotion without force. And they are there to put good energy out into the universe as existentialists. And you will catch on to anything that you need to live out and accept yourself through during therapeutic personal inquiry of what is your drive. What makes you successful in life? And what brings you into a world of depth? You know what? Love, of course, like they say. But it is your culture. How do we cultivate your culture? Number one, we all are programmed by something. We're programmed by products. Hmm. We're programmed to hate Tyler's hair. I love it. <laughs> we are okay. It's okay to be known right here, right now, in your battle. So, as you work on your progressive agenda on not getting off on cruelty to others and getting people perfect. You release yourself from the notion 
you have to have. That was the first thing that came into my mind before I uh, turned on the video. It was that it's okay to want, but it's okay to do this and not want. Well, sometimes you want and you go get it because you can. You don't need to explain yourself. But when we have things, it creates a slacking to us. It can create a wall because when we get and we have money and we know how to spend it, right, people? And we know our jobs right people and we're blessed and we're grateful there is a little bit of this that happens what we want to turn to is knowing oh I hate to say it because it's so cliche but knowing our divine and allowing things to just be people I got the news for you, and this is why you can't get off on cruelty and getting off on how you spend money better than other people and judging people because they don't know how to have style. You need to chill if you're posh. Back up. Back up. I've learned this because of grieving. I've learned this because of loss. I, I, I've learned this because people betrayed me and rejected me. You got to have your setbacks. It brings sympathy to those that are trying to be perfect, that will do anything to stay perfect and to get more perfect. They will lie, they will cheat, they will steal, and they will murder, and they will demean themselves, and they will commit suicide. People. I'm in the corner with you. You have to understand this. And it may be coming from Hillary Clinton. Well, it's coming from different people. And you've heard it before, maybe. But it's not popular to say. But in social justice, education, prevalence, and democracy promotion with all force, and working toward community, the global human family, and really taking anti-corruption and human greed to say below work very seriously at Social Alchemy Project Access Management with yours truly, Tyler Lord but fucking Hamilton. This is what you're gonna to be told. <clears throat> Lies, you know, people that lie, liars, Deceit, right? Those types of people. You might be one. Got news for you. Lies are the new currency. People put their lies where their money is, and people put their money where their lies are. And that's not the way the Lord Jesus Christ works. Now you can acknowledge this, have remorse, and begin on maybe repentance, right? Working that out. It's up to you. When you lie, you are neglecting yourself for being really understood and having true truthfulness going on and sincerity with no cruelty. You know the drill. You're not a moron. 
might be a manipulator. And you don't want to hear this, but that's tough. <clears throat> People, I may have said things in a haughty way, or like I'm Mr. Know-it-all. I apologize. I want to be clear-eyed. I live in a culture of narcissism like yourself. There's narcissism versus self-importance. There's self-regard versus self-preservation. It's okay for you to be into yourself. That's fab. You gotta love yourself and know yourself to love and to know other people. You have to be sympathetic to yourself. You have to hold yourself. If you are an MF, right? Motherfucker. And you have been a devil. You can change this. Because people out there are working in that direction. To be clear-eyed. In an ethical, welcoming, collective consciousness, you need a team. And you don't always have to be right. Okay? You might be in an industry where you have to be. But there are times in life you don't have to be right. In relationships. And even work experiences. I'm going to leave you with one thing. Because I don't want to keep going on and on and on and on and on. Because at some point you're going to think, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But like Hillary Clinton says, we want to strip the facade and take off the mask to see sympathy. Correct? That's growth mindset. It is still a growth mindset when you stop lying to yourself. May I telephone you just in a couple more minutes? I'm cutting a video and a talk. Where are you going? Oh, you're fab. Okay, we'll cut in contact later. Okay, peace out. Drive safe. Bye. She's like a Buddhist psychology type of mentor for me, I think people. If you come from narcissism, striving, success, you're not happy. Whatever motivated you, maybe envy, maybe money hard-ons. Nothing separates you from the love of God when you strip the facade. You know. You're still living. You're still breathing. And you will not have to hate your life. And you can forgive yourself for the choices you've made. And the inabilities to cope. Because maybe you live with mental illness like myself. Be sensitive to people's hardships, even if you're in the middle of your hardship and you want to be isolated. There's a period in your hardship that you need to open your heart and welcome in the other folks that have the hardship and understand you're just like them, and they're just like you. And 
because we're teaching ourselves to accept ourselves and other people in our pain, we build resilience for our children. And we help the global human tech family as positive. Hillary Clinton talks about building resilience. So today, when we look at all the benevolence, correct, and the hurting in ourselves, we're left with this on our talk. Stop, because I know when we're hard on ourselves, like we put ourselves through hell. <laughs> But I'm going to say this. You don't have to continue getting off on cruelty. You don't have to be sadist. Because it only leads to more power and more hate, and more segregation, and isolation. Don't get off on cruelty, because what you've been programmed to believe has mind-fucked you. Lies being the new currency is ugly. And it's cruel and it's wrong and it's increasing homelessness. At Social Alchemy Project Access Management, that's way, way, way corrupt. And it's way, 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 way greedy to keep your walls up. Our world says, trust no one. Many faith-based communities come to tell you, you can trust us. We're here to feed you. We're here to feed and nourish the hungry. Clothe the naked and house those that don't have shelter. And we don't do that as a formality or a function. We do it as a formality and function, of course. But it's not just from the excess. We believe in putting our ego aside and teaching people self-compassion for themselves in this forced alchemy at Social Alchemy Project. I love you, and I look forward to adjoining with you one day as sensitive souls. But this perfect culture the bubble has been popped, and you don't have to be cruel and hate yourself because you have to live with less. Living with less gives us the opportunity to be content with the small things and goodness that friendships and family and strangers that we call friends, that are our friends, give us. Peace be with you.